to the culmination of Honors Week at St. Cecilia Academy. This week we have recognized many important achievements and now we have finally reached the moment we have been waiting for. The highest honors for the class of 2023, salutatorian, valedictorian, and St. Cecilia girl. I just one round of applause. First, the salutatorian for the class of 2023. This year's salutatorian has a zeal for truth and a desire for excellence that led her to take every honors class at St. Cecilia over the past four years that was available to her. She is a voracious reader and an excellent writer. Her teachers say that she is a major contributor to meaningful class discussions. She has a heart for placing her intellectual gifts at the service of others and spent last summer at the University of Notre Dame Summer Scholars Program in Global Health, learning more about how to affect positive change. Her interests are broad and in addition to her academic pursuits, she has immersed herself in many clubs and activities. She has been a mainstay in the SCA Theater Guild, where she can be spotted both on stage, dancing and acting, and behind stage applying makeup and adjusting costumes. Last year, she was not only dance captain for our production of Cinderella, but she also received a spotlight nomination for Ensemble Actress, one of only five nominations across Middle Tennessee. She has lent her voice to the St. Cecilia Chorus and her dance skills as a volunteer instructor and choreographer for the Seasons Dance Company. She is the current chapter president of the National Honor Society, and she is frequently seen tutoring younger students in Latin. Her strong faith in Christ, her joyful pursuit of truth, and her dedication to service will no doubt continue to grow when she moves to South Bend to begin college at the University of Notre Dame, where she plans to major in biochemistry. Please join me in congratulating the salutatorian for the class of 2023, Abigail. Our valedictorian is a young woman whose gifts are on display both inside and outside of the classroom. She excels in both STEM and in the humanities. Her teachers consistently describe her as a model student and innately curious due to her work ethic and intellectual humility. Her love of learning manifests in how she applies herself to her studies and how she engages her teachers and peers. Observing the student's impact on her peers, one teacher has shared she always elevates the class but her impact is not in there. Outside of class, she has served on the student council, is a member of the National Honor Society, Spanish Honor Society, and has been the treasurer and president of Mu Alpha Theta. Last summer, she interned with a nonprofit in Washington, D.C., where she saw firsthand how her love of math could be used to make a positive impact on others' lives. 
It is this combined passion for crunching numbers and helping others that guides this year's valedictorian North, where she will attend Boston College College's Carroll School of Management and major in finance. Please join me in congratulating the valedictorian for the class of 2020. of the Lisa Elkin Bruner Memorial Scholarship. Lisa Elkin graduated from St. Cecilia in 1973 when she too was named St. Cecilia Girl. Lisa died in 1993 and her family began a scholarship fund in her honor because of Lisa's love and dedication to St. Cecilia. We are honored today to have with us Mrs. Mary Elkin May, class of 79, sister of Lisa, Mary, if you would please join us on stage for the presentation of this award. <laughs> this year's St. Cecilia Girl radiates kindness, goodness, and faithfulness. During her four years at St. Cecilia, she has become a young woman admired by her peers and teachers alike. She has proven to be an outstanding leader in our community, not necessarily by being the biggest voice, but by her natural ability to befriend anyone and her sincere commitment to serving others. Moreover, she is full of surprises. Despite her generally quiet demeanor, she can be found leading the rosary, singing in the chorus, reading and cantering at mass, welcoming guests as an ambassador, and cheering on her teammates. She is passionate about the performing arts and has been a leader in the theater guild, serving as parliamentarian two years, as well as committee chair. She's also brought that passion to the stage, including her recent performances as Beth in Little Women and Mrs. Whitefit in A Wrinkle in Time. Her contagious enthusiasm and unwavering commitment to our school community have inspired all of those around her. She sees the best in everyone, and for this reason, she is loved by all. This fall, our St. Cecilia girl has chosen to attend the University of Tennessee, Knoxville, where she will major in public health with a minor in theater and film. It is my pleasure to present to you the 2023 St. Cecilia girl, the city of Elisa Elkin.
concludes our Honors Week, and I want to thank each and every one of you and congratulate each and every one of you on your beautiful, beautiful spirit of rejoicing in the gifts of each other. This, um, this is tremendous, and it's what really brings us joy. We know that all of our gifts, each and every one of us, the gifts we have are precisely just that. They're gifts from the Lord, and he gives different ones to each one of us, So, as, um, as St. Catherine tells us, so that uh, we can share. So that he doesn't, God doesn't give all the gifts just to one person. He gives different gifts to each one of us so that we can... Um, we can cooperate and grow in friendship. So at the end of the day, it's, it's all from God. And so I just want to tell you how, how grateful I am to each one of you of entering into, um, entering into that beautiful reality that brings joy of celebrating and rejoicing in the gifts that God has given to, to each, one of, each one of you. Because at the end of the day, in the mystical body of Christ, we all share those gifts because um, they, all, they all come from the Lord. So thank you all very much.